animals brought these folks, settled people down. You can see a difference in their expressions. It purrs, they can feel that for people with dementia. It's very comforting to them. We don't try to tell them that it's not real. It's not, you know, we're, we're living in their life right now. We're living in their life. What's going on, girls? What's going on? How's your lunch? My name's Steve Venuti, and I am the director of memory care here at Plymouth Crossings. Plymouth Crossings is an assisted living community for folks with memory care issues. Oh, good day. It distressed me a little bit that he was conversing with something that was not real. But it gave him pleasure and it relaxed him and I figured it's working, so why not? Yeah, I, I like the cat now. We both like the cat, huh, Dad? Oh, yeah. Nancy? I found it. Oh, I just want to know, do you know what the You're well lucky. He loves you. Springfield. Yeah. Who wants to take care of the kitty? You want to take the kitty? Yeah, sure. All right. Do you want to take care of the other kitty? Sure. Okay. We need to give these guys some names. Look at me. He has something to say about the cats, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> He's a sweetheart. He's just absolutely the sweetest little, little guy. People don't have to worry about having the animal fed, although they do try to feed them. You hungry? Yeah. The first one that we got was just, was like on a whim. I just kept passing it in the store. It would meow and it would roll over and it would kind of flip its paw at me. And probably about the fourth or fifth time after I walked by it on my visit to the store, I finally said, all right, 100 bucks. All right, I'll buy it. I just assumed that it was designed for kids. So then we got another cat. We had somebody donate another one after families saw. You know, for f one or two folks that we may take aside who are not having such a great day, and we know that some of these animals will help to settle them or help get a smile out of them or help to get a conversation going. Hello. Who was that? That was the cat. It was talking to you. Hello. Hello. I don't discourage them from thinking that the animals are not real. You know, they know that when they're finished with the animal at any given time, they can give it back to us. Some people will get anxious at that, oh, I gotta take care of this cat. I don't wanna take care of this cat. You know, so we will go back and we'll take it. I said, I'll, you know, I'll take the cat to my house now and I'll take care of it. I'll bring it back tomorrow. Put them right next to you, okay? Some families are a little bit reluctant. You know, I don't want you to lie to them. I said, well, but look how, look how happy it's making him. To them, it is real. 